So my poor old VE Commodore, which has held me in pretty good, been pretty good to me over the years. I've had it pretty much since new. I drove through a big puddle of water down the end of my road there. I'm at the end of uh, where I live is near a river and it had flooded a bit last night and that road was had about a foot of water right in the last 20 metres and that's my driveway. We're the last basically driveway on the street and as I've come up towards the driveway I've gone through a huge puddle of water. It's about a foot deep and my own engine stopped and I was stuck halfway on the driveway, literally. Anyway, I was suspected I've sucked in a huge amount of water. The bullshit thing on these Commodores, there's the air cleaner, I've got the battery charger in there. You can see the air cleaner goes down behind the headlight there, right down there, there's the headlight. It goes right down low, so it's guaranteed to pull water if you go through enough of it. It's actually, the, the, the air induction is below the, below the uh, headlight. And of course the air cleaner filter element has been removed, sits in there. Got the uh, battery on charge at the moment. But anyway, this little cross piece that went across here, which goes into the induction chamber, which we've just taken off there, was full of water. And uh, look at that. That induction port there is literally a swimming pool. And so is the one at the rear. In fact, the one at the rear is spilling out. That's how much water was in it. So no chance it was going to start. Now, my biggest fear is I may have damaged the, the engine. I don't know if I have. I'm praying that I haven't, but there's a, there's a possibility that I have bent the engine because the engine was running when it stopped. So God knows how much power it had when it stopped. Who knows? I was only coming down the road slow because I was coming up the driveway. But yeah, that's not what you want to see. I haven't seen that really before. I mean, a blown head gasket will get water in the barrels too, but that is literally a flooded induction system. So the engine won't turn, a little, engine only moves a little bit back and forth, but obviously I've got multiple hydraulic locks, certainly at least two by the look of it. So the game plan is now is to remove the spark plugs, these on each side, three on each bank obviously, crank the engine and shoot the water out, and then hopefully it'll crank so we haven't got a broken con rod or a bent con rod. If it's a bent con rod, I won't know. It'll probably let go sometime down the road, but if it's got a broken piston or a cracked wing, ring land, I'll know pretty quick. But we'll see if it turns over first. And then, fingers crossed, otherwise the engine's got to come out and it's rooted. But, uh, so there you go. Not good.